It is a long term budget, it is not a yearly budget. They have focused on three to five years in all aspects. A normal compliance front, it has made everything faceless. They have given impetus on the infrastructure development. Additional 1300 kilometers of highways will be developed. They are trying to curb the import and encourage the export. MSP has been increased from 1 to 1.5 times. It is a long term budget, it is not a yearly budget. They have focused on three to five years in all aspects. So if things are implemented properly, we will have very good economy. And whatever uh, losses we incurred during the last one year, where our fiscal deficit grew to 9.5% of GDP, it will be coming back to the normal of 3%. Presently, they have packed to 6.8%. Uh, hopefully, within a period of 2024, it will be on the right level of 3% of GDP. Look, on the tax front, government has not done anything. It has kept everything as it, is, as it was in last year. Earlier, people were thinking that there will be some SAS will be coming because of COVID. Government has prevented that. It has not brought that. And uh, on a normal compliance front, it has made everything faceless. Even going to tribunal for appeal, that is also faceless. So the cost of compliance and cost of uh, doing uh, other activities for the tax purpose has gone down. Especially for the senior citizen above age of 75 years, if they don't have any other income other than salary and interest, they are not required to file return. That is a big relief to that class. The incentives which were expiring in 2021, like uh, affordable housing scheme, they were giving relief of 1.5%, 1.5 lakhs. Then uh, to a new startup, they were, the scheme was getting exhausted in uh, 31st March 21. They were extended by one year. So they will get benefit of one year more. And secondly, for the companies, uh, they have relaxed many of the provisions which are of penalty nature. And again, to give, uh, in petus to Atmanirbhar Bharat, and there is a, a term called one person company. Uh, sing, one person he can float a company, and then later on he can convert this company to any other company. There will be no tax impact on that. So that is some uh, good for the innovators. Suppose you are a developer of software or uh, you are developing app. So you don't require too many persons. You are a single person who is working on your brain. So you form a one person company, grow it, and you sell it. So that is. Startup. Uh, government has been uh, very positive on Northeast, especially uh, they have a very special lookist look policy. So uh, they have given impetus on the infrastructure development. So on the road projects, they have uh, enhanced the expenditure for next three years to 34,000 crores from present 19,000 crores. So additional 1,300 kilometers of highways will be developed. So that will be a big boost for the. Uh, all industries which are planning to come in Northeast or other infrastructure development of the Northeast. Secondly, they have done especially for tea tribes, women and children of the tea tribes. Uh, 1,000 crores have been earmarked for development of welfare of the, uh, these uh, people. And that will be shared by Assam and West Bengal tea gardens equally. Indirectly, whichever sector the government is putting money, some share is going to come down to our Northeast part, like the health, infrastructure, electrification of railways, and uh, broadening of uh, railway network. Uh, privatization of various infrastructure facilities and um, other whatever government uh, schemes are being implemented for health and uh, education. Those are all going to come to Northeast. Uh, there is one more scheme which is uh, for the tribals, civil castes and civil tribes. There is Ekal Vidyalay scheme uh, that will be uh, put in place in more than 1700 uh, centers again. And uh, scheme of grant of scholarship will be there for tribal students. The government has been very benevolent on the farmers and uh, as you see in the rice, they have MSP has been increased from 1 to 1.5 times. The government has announced that in 17, the total outlay was 22,000 crores. Uh, till last year, they have outlayed 75,000 crores just on wheat procurement. Similarly, on paddy, cotton and other uh, cash crops, they have increased the MSPs. So the, it has gone to benefit the farmers. And insurance, farm insurance, they have reduced the insurance rates. Now, in this budget, they have uh, allowed the foreign direct investment in insurance sector from present 49% uh, to 74%. So more foreign players can come, there will be more competition, so tech insurance rate will go down for farm sectors. The government's basic <coughs> intent is to promote export and they have given some in incentive to a manufacturer also to create a global manufacturing hubs in India. So they are trying to curb the import and encourage the export. They have given an outlay of 17,000 crore for the MSME sector as well. So 
the idea of the government is ki we create hubs in nirmala sitaram ji said ki in mobile sector we are now started manufacturing charger and some chips so that we can export so definitely the government is trying to build hubs global hubs because now we the small manufacturer could not export the product because they are not competitive with the world market so they are trying to create those infrastructure so that ki our people even small msme can export the their product to the global market don't forget to like share and subscribe to east mojo for any queries put them down in the comments section below and press on the bell icon for notifications